Satyabama Institute of Science and Technology. Hello everyone, I am Mohna Priya, Assistant Professor, Department of Computer Science and Engineering in Satyabama Institute of Science and Technology. Now we are going to see a topic, strings and its functions in uh, C programming language. First, let us know what is mean by string. We all know that string is a collection of a character, okay. It will be stored in a, a single dimensional array. For example, it can be a string constant or a character constant. If we give as a string means we need to de denote everything between the double quotes. But if we give character constant for a string means then we want to include only single quotes. Uh, memory allocation for a string is based upon we give. For example, integer na we, uh, we will be having two memory allocation. For string we are having only characters. So, for each and every character we will be allocating one memory space for the characters. Then main thing we want to see is end of a string can be denoted with the help of a null string. A null string uh, will have a ASCII value of 0. It will not allocate any memory space but it is denoted at the end. Then uh, declaring a string. There are two types of declaring a string character array and string literals. First one is character. Here we have mentioned character data type char. This is greeting as a array name and uh, uh, which is included in the square bracket, bracket is memory allocation equal to these are the strings we are giving that is we are giving in a character by character. So, uh, we have given within a single quotes. Next one is string literals. Uh, this is a data type, this is a array name, we have not specified any memory allocation for the array, then a table we have given as a string. Uh, this is the memory representation of our string. For example, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 or the index values for the R strings and variables, this is our string table which we are giving as an input. Then these are the memory allocation address for each and every character. The address will be allocated by the system itself. We won't allocate any memory allocation. We just give the memory allocation values in the array size alone. Another example of string declaration is this character s, this is the memory allocation we have given. Uh, s is a array name, these are the characters and these are the array name and this is the index values. This is the another example. Then there are four methods for initializing the strings in an array. That is assigning a character by character with the size and without size. Uh, assigning a string literals with the size and without size. Let us see the example. For example, for each and everything we need to include a header file that is stdio.h which specifies we have, we are going to get input and output from the user. Then we are opening the main functions and within the main function we are going to do that. Since we are going to declare the strings, we need to first specify the uh, data type of a string that is we are going to give a character name one is a array name and a, a number which is specified within the uh, quotes uh, square bracket is 16 that is a memory allocation okay. We have given each and every character by character and end of the character uh, string is denoted within the denoted by the null character. Then in next method we have given only the, we have given only the array size, we have not mentioned any memory size, okay. Uh, this is another one example. Then another thing, we have given uh, input as string literals with specifying the memory size. Then another example, we have not mentioned any memory size, we have given only the input strings. These are the four types of declaring, initializing the strings. Then in print up statement let us see how the output will be. In all the uh, types the output will be same. Whether we are giving us a character literals or string literals everything the out output will be same. This is the out output of the program. Then we are going to see the functions and purpose of the string. There are many string functions available in C. First let us see string cat. What does it mean means it is a concordination of a 
two or more string that is can coordinating string two at the end of string one here with the with the help of the character uh, cat uh, function we can able to can coordinate the uh, two strings then a string n cat it is very similar to the concordination operation only difference is uh, we can specify the number of uh, character that we are going to concordinate with the another strings then another is string copy it is used to copy one string from to another string then string n copy means number of characters that we are going to copy from one string to another string string length uh, it is used to define how many characters that is available in these strings it defines the length of the string then compare it is used to compare the two strings and it will return zero if both the string one and two are equal and it will return less than zero if string one is less than string two and returns one if the string one is greater than string two then a string character it returns the pointer uh, where the first occurrence of the character is available in the string. Then string or CR means it, uh, it will define the last character in the string. And string string means it returns the pointer to, to the first occurrence of the string 2 in a string 1. Then uh, string str returns the pointer to the last occurrence of uh, string in a string 1. strd app means it duplicates the string. For example, uh, it will have another copy duplication of a string from one string to another. String lower, it converts a given string into a lowercase, lowercase letters. String upper means it converts the given string into a uppercase letter. String reverse, it is used to reverse the given string. String set, it set all character in a string to a given character. A string n set, it sets the portion of a character in a string to given character. String tok, it tokenize the given string using a delimiter. Let us see first uh, string cat functions. String cat function appends the source string to a destination string. What, it's, uh, what is going to uh, do is, it is going to uh, append, it is going to concordinate the two strings. Uh, for example, for this we want to give str cat within a bracket destination string and source string we want to give and uh, here uh, it will append the source string with the destination string. Let us see the example of it. For each and every string functions which we are go going to use in a program, first what we need to do is we need to include a header file string.h. If we include that header file only we can able to use the all the string function because these are all the string cat length everything or inbuilt functions. So to include that in inbuilt function we need to include the package that is include string.h. Then main function uh, here we have declared a data type this is a array name and we have specified the memory allocation. What it is means that it can able to store only 100 memory datas only can be stored in that array. Then in source we have given 30 as a memory allocation. Here it is going to concordinate both the strings available that is from destination and source. Here we have include str cat and we have specified destination and source should be concordinated. Uh, in print up statement we are giving a combined strings as this is the string which we, uh, our output will be a string so we are uh, specifying percentage s so that our, our output will be a percentage s that is a string it uh, let us see the output of this program this is the output of that program that is the output a uh, computer nodes we have a uh, two string computer and nodes that that has been concordinated next string n cat what is it is similar to the cat but we can see the difference in the output screen. For example, we have given uh, both the source and destination strings. We have given string n cat. What, we, what it is going to do is we have specified 5 here. Here number of characters that is going to be added with the uh, string. So in last program we have uh, just used str cat alone. So it has been combined both the string 1 and string 2. 
here it is, it is going to include only five characters from the destination string. For example, here we have given only five, so entire uh, character is notes, it has only five characters. In another example, we have given only four, that means it cannot accommodate uh, more than four. So, your output will be computer note only, it will not include S since it, it is out of bound. Another function is string copy. String copy, it is used to copy a string from one string to another string. Uh, for this, we want to include string copy, string 2, comma string 1. Let us see the program. We have declared these strings and we have mentioned the size 2. What we are going to do is, we are going to copy one string to another string. We have specified all the source and destination strings and in printf we are going to copy the source file to destination file. Let us see the example. Here I love programming is the first string that has been copied to the, we are going to just copy that string 1 to string 2. So we have just mentioned the inbuilt function strcpy our output will be like that. I love programming will be available in string 1 and also in string 2. Then string length. What this function is going to do is, it is going to display the number of characters that is available in the string. This is the denotion, uh, it is the, uh, this, this is how we will be denoting this str length name of the string. What are all the characters that is available within the string? that will be in the account. For example, let us see the example. We have given welcome as the input, that is the string. We are going to find out a number of character in this string. Obviously, what will be the output? Welcome has W E L C O M E. So, number of uh, length is 7 and its size is 8. And another, uh, this is another one example of the program, beginner's book. A uh, length of this will be 13. Then str upper, this function is used to convert the given string into a uppercase letters. That is if we have given only in small letters, na, it will convert it, uh, it into a uppercase letters. This is the denotion, then this is the program. Here we have uh, declared the array and its size with its string elements. Okay? Uh, we have included the string upper, we are going to convert the string into uppercase, this specific string into uppercase, this will be the output. So, uh, in previous slide, we have given only a string is in lower case, our output will be only in uppercase. Then this function is used to convert a given string into a lower case, either it can include both uppercase and, and lower case in the uh, input, but our destination uh, element will be only in the lower case. This is how we have denoted str lower, this is the string name we have given and uh, this is the example, uh, these are the two strings, uh, we have included three strings str1, 2, 3. In string 1, we have included both uppercase and lowercase letter, in another example we have included both uppercase and lowercase. But what we are going to do in this program is we are going to convert all the character into a lowercase. Uh, we have both uppercase and lowercase in the uh, inputs. Our output will be like this. Everything will be a lowercase. Thank you.